A new art show is about to be unveiled in Pasadena before some of the pieces take off to the moon. Acclaimed fine artist Heather Horton explores the human experience in her art, including the complexities of childhood trauma, womanhood, deep pain, gratitude, and so much more. Heather joins us now with more about her incredible work. Good morning, Heather. Good morning. Such Lovely. a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here. And we are surrounded by some of your uh, beautiful art. We are indeed. We I want to ask you first, you know, tell us about your show that's opening. Mm -hmm. It's a body of work I've been working on for the past two years. It's a culmination of things I've experienced in my life, almost some dreams I've had. Uh -huh. um, it's a whole body of work about immersion in, in, in terms of health, health challenges, dreams, life, happiness, a journey. So yeah. it's, a, it's a journey. It's all a journey. These, these different um, complexities in things that you've experienced in your correct. own life. Yes. And it's called immersion. Yes. Opening it's, next weekend in Pasadena. That's correct. Yes. You know, you brought some beautiful pieces here. I want you to uh, take us through. Sure. Sure. So these two pieces are both me in, in, <laughs> as a model, but it's not about always that it's me, but I am a handy model. I'm always around and available. <laughs> and so I like painting fabric. I like painting pattern, water, anything that I can get lost in mm -hmm. and therefore found in. I'm, in. I'm intrigued by things like that, patterns that I can render, mm -hmm. waves, etc. And so I like a sort of dreamlike atmosphere in mm -hmm. a lot of my paintings. And a lot of my paintings have the solitary figure because really we are solitary in life. And a lot about what we do is on our own. Mm -hmm. and. That's what we experience. And I just like the um, solitary quality of that. I really like that. I, I can usually, see that. I usually just paint solitary figures because I find that the viewer has more of an intimate connection with them mm -hmm. than if there's more than one figure in the paintings. Heather, talk about this one. This is mm -hmm. so beautiful and I'm fascinated. Thank you, yes. it's So this is a cool combination of fabric and water. Mm -hmm. Two things I love painting. I thought, why not put them together, see what happens. And so I just loved the undulation. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a choice to portray a dream with color and pattern and sort of get lost in it. Yeah. I, do, I do love that very much. I, I just, I like getting lost in the paintings and also found. Do you primarily work uh, in oil? Yes, oil on, oil on panel. I don't care for canvas usually. I like panel because it's a rigid surface. Uh. And so oil though, yes, no acrylic um, and just no watercolor. I just oils my medium, I love it. It's, so it's very forgiving. It's a forgiving medium compared to other kinds. You know, I know it's like kind of maybe <laughs> choosing your favorite child, but do you have a favorite piece? <laughs> Honestly, in this show, I do. It's a very, it's a small piece. It's not here today, so you'll have to come to the show to see it. Mm -hmm. And it's about my surgery. And oh. it's, it's, it's a satellite viewpoint of something that I saw while I was healing. Mm -hmm. And I thought I must paint that moment. Uh, so it's very personal, but I do believe that the viewer will understand okay. it. I we do. Can, we can you'll be able to show. see it. You'll be able to see it there. Um, so it's it, that is my personal favorite piece. Okay. Yes. Looking forward to that. Yes. You know, thank Heather, you. Let's talk about something so interesting and so cool to me. Mm. Your portfolio is actually launching to the moon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> tell us what this, this is about and how this all came to be. Thank you. A longtime collector and friend of mine, Sam Peralta. He's a physicist, poet, writer, he wears many hats. And he bought payload space uh -huh. on some NASA lunar landers. So beginning in, well, one's gone up already. There's a total of four. Three are going to have my work on them. Oh. And of the three that Sam is involved with, uh, I, I think I'm one of the only artists to have work on all three. Amazing. They're going to go to three different locations on the moon and they are in nanotechnology. So they are, they are digital nano format, wow. nano fish. I do believe it's called, mm -hmm. three different spots on the moon. And they believe that these landers, one's even gonna have a rover, will even be doing NASA related things oh while gosh. our art exhibition is, is on each of these land. It's an amazing time capsule, which they believe will last 10,000 years or way longer. So this is permanent. Once they go up, they stay up. It's about as permanent as one can get. And so yeah. I was joking with someone that it's one of the longest running art exhibitions. <laughs> <laughs> I think that wins the prize, and yeah. <laughs> and there's tens of thousands of artists. I'm very fortunate to be one of them and to know Sam. He's he is an ideas man. He yeah, you're in happen. a special group of artists. There's not very that many. honored. Yes, very honored. Yeah, My very goodness. excited about it. Yes. Well, astronauts will be able to that's enjoy right. your art. That's, that's for sure. Right. Yeah, it's going to be wild once they're up there. Oh my goodness. Never look at the moon. Well, let's take it back to your show mm -hmm. that's opening next weekend in mm -hmm. Pasadena. Yes. How can people find out more about it and mm -hmm. you know, what can they expect to see? 
So I'm asking people to RSVP, and there are links on my website and links on my social media mm -hmm. because for numbers and COVID, just want to keep everything safe. And so I'm having people RSVP, and the opening is on the 14th from 5 to 9. Perfect. And so if they go and get a little virtual ticket, it's free, mm -hmm. then they can come and see over 33 paintings that are going to be there. And most of them haven't been seen before because with social media, you can post your work like pretty much as soon as you do it. And so this will be fun because most yes. of them haven't been seen and it'll encourage people to come out in person and experience art as it really should be experienced, wow. which is in person. So wonderful to get to know you, your Thank story, you. your art. Thank and you. We can expect to see much more. Thank at your you show. very much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us, Thank Heather. You. Yes. And you can find all of the details from this segment on our website, kcalnews.com slash scene on TV. Mm -hmm.